This is Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, Leader Class, Jetfire. Now, this is probably the first, well, I think this is the first uh, Leader Class figure I've actually bought on regular retail price. Uh, all the other Leader Class figures I have are on, I got them all on clearance. Um, but this one, I completely broke down and just, I had to get him when he came out because he's just awesome. Uh, on top of the fact that in the entire movie, he was one of my favorite characters. I thought he was very funny, I thought he was hilarious in the movie. absolutely loved the character, so I had to get me um, a Jetfire figure. And then I figured out of all the Jetfire, that came, Jetfire figures that came out, this was, the leader class was probably the best one yet. Okay, so on with the figure. Figure is just amazing, just fantastic detail here and there. The silhouette may not be very movie accurate because the he's got the bulk of his jet engine on his backpack um, which judging from the way the thighs look these look like turbines from the engine um, the engine should become his thighs or his legs but uh, apparently the uh, designers made it so so that the jet pack would be up the jet engines would be on his backpack so a little bit of cheating there but easily forgivable so on with his features he's got rat joints everywhere swivel joints for the biceps and the thighs he's got rat joint knees hips uh, shoulders elbows he's swivel hands his fingers articulate at least the, fir the three fingers um, he does not have waist articulation and his head well it doesn't really stay in any position because of a because of a gimmick that goes like this Okay, um, but but I, because of the whiskers, you can sort of uh, well keep him looking cert in a certain direction, a certain way. Uh, yeah. So that's okay, I guess. A uh, few things I don't like about him is uh, one is this walking stick. It, it forms his uh, landing gear in jet mode, but he can barely hold this thing. Very difficult to pose the figure with it. Uh, I know it's very it's part of being movie accurate, but this thing is just bloody annoying. Uh, he's got a gun uh, that's actually a Gatling gun. It has a missile that fires. Yeah, very nice. It can only fit on his uh, left hand or left forearm. And that you have to fit it in jet mode. Other thing I don't like about him is uh, uh, the weak knees, ratchet joints, but they they can be very weak uh, at times because he is top heavy and they tend to just flop over. But other than that, is a wonderful, wonderful figure. Uh, if I can just put back the landing gear uh, for a minute here, uh, okay, give you a good 360 of the figure. It's just amazing. You can pose the jets any which way you want. It's got hinges uh, and joints here and there, uh, but I, I I find that if you pose it this way, uh, it makes it look less bulky or less hulky for jet fire. Uh, but, but it's really a matter of preference how you want to pose it. Okay, so let's get him into jet mode. Thumbs up for me. The um, the bot mode. Oh, sorry. One last thing before we go into jet mode. Here he is with the deluxe class star uh, deluxe class classic star stream. If you haven't gotten jet fire, here's how big he is compared to a deluxe uh, figure. And you know, I highly recommend this figure. I mean, don't wait for it to go on clearance. I think it's a worthy regular retail price purchase. So, let me see if I can transform him without extending the time. Okay, fold this uh, whiskers forward. Okay, just align the jet engines. Okay, yeah. ball joints here. Okay, uh huh. And then just uh, align the feet. Okay, jet sounds. There's a button right here that produces that sound. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. 
Just make him look like he's a frog. Okay. And then detach the uh, chest. It does the transformation sound. That's the same thing when you play it back. Nice uh, transformation sounds. Okay, and then stretch this part, and then you lock the back plates onto the front chest, like so. That'll give you enough uh, room to set up the back plates. Oh, sorry, detach the seat belts, connecting cables. Okay. And essentially, the first thing you want to do is assemble the uh, top part of the jet. Now, to do that, it takes a little bit of uh, patience, I guess. So do this thing first. It says jet fire in four letters. Uh, try and fit top part in first, like so. And then the middle section. Okay, and then the... Yes, yes, you make jet noises. And then the last section. Okay. It's just falling apart. Okay, let's let's start all over again. So, uh, huh. okay, okay, this thing done. Let me see if I can do it better this way. Okay, let's just get rid of the arms first. Okay, and then uh, connect. Hmm, I was able to do it a while ago. Huh. Okay, there we go. Okay. Oh. Okay. And there you go. All right. Connected. And then what you want to do is just lock everything in place by connecting the jet, the jet engines. Uh, by using the jet engines to lock the jigsaw puzzle pieces at the back, like so. Okay. Okay, there you go. Pull out the wings. And then we're going to do the legs. Um, so, rotate. Okay, and then tab, they tab in into these holes. Mm -hmm. Peg in, like so. Do the same thing on the other side. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then tab it in. There you go. And you just do whatever you want to do with the feet. Okay, landing gear, put it up, and then turn him over. Okay, and that will end part one of this review. Stay tuned for part two.